all right i'm back with the video here do a review on this san francisco 49er starter jacket is in a super rare size of a xxl i can go ahead and tell you uh i measured this from when it was zipped up from right here where the hood meets the shoulder or straight down to the bottom is 32 inches and when it's zipped up and you lay it flat and you go straight across the chest armpit to armpit is 30 inches so it's got a nice generous fit some people i mean i'd say i'd, I'd lean towards that's a true uh you know i'll say that's a pretty true two legs um, in fact i was a little bit surprised about it i've had some starter jackets that were size extra large that uh measured about 30 29 or 30 most of them when they're extra large they'd be more like 27 or 28 across so yeah it's handy to have just a little bit more in these two x starter jackets are a little more hard to find i can just tell honestly i can tell just by looking at it, it's got a little extra length just but that's because i deal you know i've had so many of these starter jackets over the years this one has some flaws there's some stainage some yellowish stains it has been washed but there's some yellowish stains here they're not going to come out i don't think i mean you could give it a shot if you wanted but i washed this i don't think those stains are going to come out um of course that's on the inside and it's not it's clean so it's not like it's going to you know do anything to your clothes or anything you got the toggles like i say made in taiwan looks like the zipper's been replaced on this one with a really stout zipper um you know came out pretty clean down there if you want to look right quick at uh you know like I say, it's not perfect. A YKK zipper. Heavy duty. And I was zipping this up and I got caught on the fabric. It seems like it's a little easy to get caught on the fabric on the inside of this, but the zipper does work if you do it right. If you don't, if you, yeah, I'm getting caught on the fabric right there on the, on the on the on this side over here. But if you if you do it right, so I mean I'll be honest with you. See how that right there is sticking over? Maybe an easier thing to do, just to be perfectly honest. It would be easier to do if I was wearing this jacket and, and if you were wearing it, I think it would be easier to zip it up without having a problem. And if I wasn't trying to film, I think I could do it better too. I did zip it up. It has, I've zipped it up two or three times and it does work. See, there you go. So I got it up there. Um, the buttons, of course, the buttons work. People always say when the zippers are broke, I see people selling starter jackets all the time I'm talking about well the buttons work you can just button it you don't really like to button a jacket I mean I've said it it's true sometimes that's what you gotta do if you don't have a zipper in it if you want to fasten it I see one light stain there it's probably I don't even know if that's gonna show up in the camera it's, it's not bad yeah, I don't think the eye would really notice it and I washed this jacket and it really came out, the, the color came back in this really nice. Uh, to be honest with you, it's a really pretty red color. You can tell now it's not uh, new. Uh, and there's a few little stains around, like there's a couple of little tiny small black stains right there. There was a black stain on the back as well. This is the main problem right here. There's a small tear right here in this sleeve underneath the NFL patch. It needs to be repaired. When you look in there like that, that's a real pretty sight to me, man. The XXL starter jacket. Um, and on the uh, the hood had some stainage. Look at the buttons, though. The buttons are not bad. Might see a little bit of stainage down here. I mean, but the button, you know, are, there's some scratches but it's not they're not silver they're not missing all the paint and everything which is 
big plus. Let's look at the back end. Let's take a look at this hood. Because the hood actually had a little bit of stains on it. And it still does. I can see right across this line. Some There's a few dark spots there. It got a little lint on it right there from being in the wash. But I don't know if you can see. There's two little small. I mean, these are minute details. These little small black spots. But it, they are there. Here's another one small but tiny there was a bigger stain down here here's this one it's another black almost looks like somebody put a um you know tapped it with a sharpie or something it's probably not what happened but I'm just trying to give you an idea of it. this is some lint there's some lint on it let me take a lint brush i'll probably do that i'll take care of that but yeah i don't know if you can see right over here there's Another, it, there's a small stain if you look at my thumb compared to it, and it's not even the size of a dime, but you know, that's about the biggest one of those black stains. But like I say, the, the, and then there's another one right there, it's tiny, it's like a pin dot. And uh, the hood, I wish I'd have wiped the lint off of the hood, I didn't notice that when I was inside. I'm seeing better, seeing this better in the light out here, that's why I came out here to make this video. Um, so you can really get a true representation of what this jacket is But um It's not bad. I mean, it's not and here's some I see some little dark Spots over here So you're gonna have some black, you know spots on this none of it really stands out like a sore thumb and I want to stress this again. I'm gonna have, I have to incorporate this into all of my videos of these starter jackets, and it's just like those starter things just came out really nice and white, really nice and white. Um, but let me stress this now: this these patches, I can see some fading on the NFL patch. This one on the back, ah, I really can't tell the fading on that, but it's probably because of the uh, color to it, because it's the gold color. The one on the front on the chest, I could notice just a little bit of uh, I thought I noticed a little fading on it as well. Yeah, it's not bad though. I mean, yeah, but you can tell that that red on that used to be a little more bright, probably. The white came out really nice on it. I'm impressed uh, with the wash job. But there's your starter jackets, 49ers. Man, that's what I wanted when I was a kid. I wanted a black one instead of the red or i wanted the red or black because i was a joe montana man and some kids had these in school there's a few little tiny little black dots and uh that's, i might have even wanted the red one i can't remember but it seemed like i, I always like black stuff so i probably wanted the black one um but that's the red joe montana era san francisco 49er starter jacket it's nice and big too 2x um I didn't know if it was, sometimes you get a 2X and it's really just like an extra large or, you know, but this is a good jacket. But what I wanted, what I was gonna say a while ago, what I wanted to stress is that if you want, if you're a 49ers fan and you want a really nice jacket, don't get this. This isn't, this isn't for you. If you like starter, if you're a 49ers fan and you like the vintage and you like starter jackets, this is the person who needs to buy this. It's not someone who is a 49ers fan and they just want to get a jacket and think this looks cool. Cause this has got some wear on it. It's, it's from the early nineties, I would imagine. Maybe even, this might even be from the eighties. But uh, anyways, it's got some age on it. It's not as crispy red as it was, but it's not bad. Zipper's been replaced. There's a hole in the, in the in the left sleeve, and but it's a pretty jacket still to, for somebody who likes vintage. And I made the video way too long. I'm pushing 10 minutes now, but uh, I just wanted to make things clear. I'm trying to review this.